looking at me! Wipe that disgusting look from your face right now! Speak! Respond! Aye, aye, Chief! All right, so good morning, good night, good afternoon, everyone. So it is your host, Kevin the Navigator. Now, on the sea story, um, why am I sitting in a swimming pool? Is because in this episode of Navy Boot Camp Experience, um, you guys are going to experience how to swim. So, this episode is basically about swimming pool, right? So, when you go to Navy Boot Camp, after, after you're done with your gun range, after you're done shooting guns and stuff like that, you got to take your tests, your written tests, your oral tests, and your chain of command tests. That part being said, fair warning to everybody, if you're joining the Marine Corps, the United States Navy, and the Coast Guard, you must learn how to swim. Because these are water-based branches. Um, even the FBI and the um, police departments, you need to learn how to swim. Because just in case, if there's any criminal activity on sea or on body of water, um, you, will, you will know how to swim and chances of survival as well. So, in Navy boot camp, uh, Marine Corps can say this as well. So if you guys who joined the Marines and the Coast Guard, um, definitely comment down below. So when you're in the Navy, right, and you do your guns, you, you do your stuff, you finish your tests, you pass, you do your, your inspection. At that point, um, you already have your utility uniform already. You have your, um, you have your coveralls already, so you have your jumpsuit, your coveralls. Um, you don't have your peanut butters yet, so you don't have your black and so your your peanut butter shirt and your black, um, sorry, navy blue pants and leather shoes and the collar device. You don't have that stuff yet. That's like before battle stations. Um, but after swim call, you're going to get the um, the peanut butters, the khaki and the black, the khaki and the black. You're going to get that. Um, after the swim call, but like I said, fair warning to everybody, you need to learn how to swim because if you don't know how to swim and you're in boot camp, you're going to be left back. And when you be left back, you're not going to graduate on time. So, boot camp is eight weeks of, of the United States Navy. That's eight weeks. Coast Guard is longer, no, Coast Guard is shorter, and Marine Corps is longer. But if you don't know how to swim, you're going to get held back. So, they're going to set you back in the division. But don't worry, they'll teach you how to swim. But like I said, you better learn quick. You better learn how to float and learn quick. And by the way, watch my other video when I show you how to breaststroke. This, that is the essential stroke you need to learn. You must learn the breaststroke. The breaststroke is the essential stroke. The freestyle, this is the freestyle. This is a butterfly. You don't need to learn all that. You need to learn breaststroke. Breaststroke, you look like a frog. You're swimming like a frog. You're swimming like a frog. That's the only stroke you need to learn. Uh, learn. So when you go on the playlist, go on how to do a breaststroke for sailors and non-sailors. You have to learn that stroke. That's the most important stroke ever. Even if you're a lifeguard, learn that stroke. But anyway, so when you're in boot camp, you're about to do a swim call. When you do your swim call, um, they will make you wear these shorts for guys. They make you wear uh, blue shorts or brown navy diver shorts. They're very flexible. Trust me, they're good. Very flexible. It will come with your sleep bag. Um, for, for ladies, for women, um, they'll make you wear like a, 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 co a cover bathing suit. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's, it's, not, it's not the one you see celebrity girls wear with their, with their, um, their private parts hanging out, no. That's not allowed, that's a no-no. So don't even think about getting cute in boot camp because it's not a place to get cute. It's not a place to attract guys or get attention from other women. Um, it is a place for you to be a, a sailor uh, for combat reasons, for um, military reasons. So you're there, it's to jump in the water, get on the big buoy, get on the big, sorry, get on the big buoy, get on the big lifeboat, and you hop back off, you go back there, and you, you're gonna sit like this in this position until your RDCs tells you to get out the pool or get out the pool area go you go into the locker room so let me tell you what step one is going to happen so you got to wake up you got to go for a chow when you go for a chow you got to eat your chow you got to go back to the barracks and you got to do your push-ups and you got to get your change your clothes into your shorts if it's summer you got to walk just like this if it's winter you got to wear your pea coat your boots 
your sweatpants, your sweatshirt, and your um your sailor cap. So, um, and your sailor beanie and stuff like that, and your earmuffs. Um, if you have long hair, well, well, your hair will be cut by that point. Sorry, not not you have long hair. I'm talking about girls as well. Uh, girls, you gotta have your hair in a bun. So, here's the thing. After you do all that, you leave your barracks, you're already seized, and your petty officers and your chief is gonna like lead you to the pool. It's a big gymnasium. Um, it's a big gymnasium where all the special forces is at. Uh, the special forces are gonna train you. So when you go in there, they gotta, they gotta, you gotta sit down in the classroom and they gotta go about water safety and seamanship safety and stuff like that. So seamanship safety, water safety, and things of that nature. So they gotta go over that for about a whole hour. You're gonna be halfway asleep like this. And then if you fall asleep, you're gonna do push-ups, you're gonna do um, sit-ups, you're gonna get smoked, and then you're gonna do blurpees and all that stuff. So um, when you stand in that, in that classroom, they gotta go over what's gonna happen to you and what's gonna happen and what you're gonna do. That part being said, after that, everyone gets up, they form They form a tow line, they form a line, you march, march, you march, you march, you march, you march, all the way to the locker rooms. The locker rooms, the girls is over here, the boys is over here. Um, you gotta, for, for boys, because I don't know about the girls' locker room, so, you know, because I'm a, I'm a man. But the men's locker room, you're gonna, you gotta hurry up and change. You know, you have to hurry up and change because there's more divisions behind you that needs to go to the swim call. So you're gonna change quick. Um, everyone's gonna start talking, but your petty officer's gonna come up and say, hey everyone, shut the F up, shut the F up, shut the F up, shut the F up. Get the F out of the locker room. Get the hell in the water. So of course they gotta start cursing at you and then you'll be like, what the F you looking at? F you, F you, F you, F you. Like they gotta start doing that to you. So get out to the locker room quick. You take your little shower. It's very cold, so it's not hot. It's, it's, it can't turn hot on purpose. So you go out there, you go to that pool deck. You see this pool deck, right? Yeah, then I kind of hesitated and before I knew it, I was over the edge. So once I finally got out of the pool and made my swim, I was like, okay, great. The worst part is over. And then we go to the other side and we have to jump off again. And I was like, man, why didn't they tell us this before we joined? I would have reconsidered that. But I passed. Um, As it is. And it's not the fact that um, you're, like, I'm afraid of heights, but it's the feeling. Yeah, it's the feeling your stomach gets when you drop. You have to hold on to a stable boat. And everybody has to get in it one by one. And the water but it was quick, it was fast, and uh, I really enjoyed jumping off the tower. Yeah, that was not funny. I, I did not enjoy that. You see this pool deck, right? So if you can see it, you see this pool deck? You're gonna sit, and you're gonna sit in the chairs on those big bleachers, those gym bleachers, and then they gotta call your division. They got, um, um, you gotta, they gotta call your division, and you gotta say your last name and your social security, your last security so um you're gonna say smith one two three four you go inside of the um the, the diving board so you go around the pool get on that diving board and then the navy diver uh navy divers and seals that is training you they're gonna say they gotta have a micro uh, megaphone and they're gonna say out of the water so you enter the water I'm gonna do that part again. So the people who below you, they gotta put a microphone. No. Team recruit, such and such and such. Enter the water, enter the water. Go, 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 enter the water. So you enter the water, so you, you, so you gotta splash, enter the water. You gotta breaststroke all the way to um, the lifeboat. So the reason why they're doing this is because in case if your ship capsized or your ship gets blown up, or if enemy forces blows up your ship with a torpedo and you kaboom this happens it's for safety training reasons all mariners have to learn it military non-military uh when i go to maritime college in january i have to take the um the stcw course so it's a safety training watch watch course so which uh which i'm telling you what it is now so um I had an introduction of it. It was kind of fun, I'm not gonna lie. It was very fun because it was a big, a big lifeboat and everyone just, everyone was grabbing on, on onto the line. They were grabbing onto the line. 
and they're going inside of the, the lifeboat it felt like a roller coaster it felt like universal studios like if if uh if everyone was like survival of the fittest type of thing so um imagine you're going to a water park and somebody puts a big lifeboat a big balloon you know like a bouncy house they put like a big bouncy house on the water and 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 the contest is who who can get onto the bouncy house first and push everyone off um type of thing and then you get on and then and then you you're in the bouncy house and you're like this you're like whoa whoa that was really cool that's the best part about boot camp in my opinion it was the water the water part um the swim call and when you got into the side of the lifeboat and uh and you go inside of the lifeboat and it was a, it's like a big bouncy house so that that happens and also you'll be tested as as well now when you're inside that bouncy house you have to look out for your shipmates so if you see someone in the water basically you got to put your hand out so you got to put your hand out and the person has to grab right here they have to grab right here you got to pull them up you got to pull them up and use the line the line is a rope you use the line and you pull them up just like this you pull them up inside of the bouncy house i'm sorry lifeboat inside and then you look you do the lookout so you do like a little lookout and then you go the other side so you crawl go other side you put your hand out crawl in you push it you pull in and then as soon as all of um i think it's good it's like five people as soon as five people get inside of the um lifeboat then then um um then one of the navy divers uh is or the seals or swix they gotta get like a hook a long pull hook grab onto your lifeboat pull you in pull you in pull you in and then some someone with a microphone is gonna be like get out of the lifeboat go inside of the pool deck now 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 so everyone gets off the lifeboat they swim back onto the pool deck you get out and they'd be like everyone report to your seats right now so you sit you sit down and you wait until your rdc comes back and gets you you go back to the locker room you wash a little bit um you put your clothes on and you go outside you stand you stand in the tension and wait till your other shipmates come until your rdc's gets the okay and then they send you back to your barracks you go to chow when you go to chow that's like lunch after that you're gonna do exercise again and then you gotta do a uh, study study time a little study time so you have to read the book like this and then someone's gonna ask you oh what's your chain of command who's the chief petty officer of the navy who is the chief uh sorry who is the master sergeant of the army you know all that stuff uh what else what else did that happened um after that you gotta watch a little film so you gotta so you gotta go to the auditorium and you gotta watch a little film about naval history and what happened in world war ii and how we defeated the japanese how we defeated the um, the african pirates the pirates of africa uh, the barbarian pirates and the um, how do we defeat the, the, the Spanish Navy, uh, the Spanish Navy and how we, how we defeated them, the Spanish Armada, how do we, how, how do we intervene with Colombia? Yes, they'll show you that film of how superior the U.S. Navy is from the 1800s all the way to present day. Um, and mind you, when you see that film, we was in every war. Every major war, we was there. So including the french and indian war we intervened in that too so um that, that's the part where, where we try when we tried to con colonize canada and canada was like uh, uh uh we're not having that so so that part being said that's what the swim call is about so basically the swim call is about technically you um get into the water and all that stuff now if you fail the swim call um, during your during your session, during your inside of your division, one of the petty officers in the yeoman is gonna call you and tell you to go to a private lesson. So you're gonna be escorted to the pool again, and you're gonna get a 30-minute private lesson until you get it. Until you get it, you can go resume on your on your regular division activities. If not, if they say you've been failing, you've been holding back, you're not learning fast enough, you're gonna be set back. And then if you do that again, you're gonna be set back. If you do it again, you're gonna be set back. And then you're gonna be separated and gonna be kicked out in the Navy. So before you join the Navy, please watch this. And the Coast Guard and the Marine Corps, please learn how to swim. 
they'll teach you how to swim, but they have limited time to teach you how to swim. So when they teach you how to swim, you better learn quick. You better learn quick, fast, quick, fast, quick, fast. So even if you know how to float, you better learn how to float. That's how you're gonna pass. I just gave you some game. So I gave you some free game for y'all who's watching this. So if you're thinking about joining the military as enlisted, officers too. So like if you're becoming an officer after you finish your bachelor's degree, learn how to swim too. Like any type of water-based activity, you must learn how to swim. You have to learn how to swim. There's no if, there's no but. You have to learn how to swim. You must learn how to swim. It makes your life easy. So work smart, not hard. That's what I've learned the hard way. But I've been knew how to swim, so like, so the swim was the easy part. Everything else was difficult for me. But anyway, this is my experience on swim call. This is part, I think part five of Navy boot camp. No, I'm sorry, no, part seven. This is part seven or part six of, of Navy, my Navy boot camp experience, sea stories. And thank you guys for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. And um, any type of juicy gossip about the sea story of this episode, no, because it was just straightforward. Eat, go to the go to that gym, jump in that pool, go inside the lifeboat, get off the lifeboat, go eat, study, exercise, go to bed. That's it. So nothing funny happened um, during that during the sea story. But like I said, like, share, subscribe, and please and please please support me because I love sharing this stuff with y'all. I love sharing nautical stuff with you guys and um you know help me make some money because I'll, I'll i have to spread this information so i have credentials of doing it and don't forget to watch my how to breaststroke video for sailors and non-sailors all right guys you guys have a good night good morning good afternoon i'll see y'all later